Welcome. Today we're going to talk about my 2021 hybrid productivity setup. Some on uh, things three on the iPad, some in a uh, bullet journal um, for the time blocking portion of it. Before we do that, a couple ways to support the channel. Number one is to go to uh, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron. Number two is to go to uh, curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can head off to Skillshare and take one of my courses. I have one on TickTick, I have one on time blocking, and I have one coming up, maybe by the time this comes out, on uh, building a good Zettelkasten. Buckle up, 2021 productivity setup. Now, last year I spent about half the year split between two systems. Uh, I spent most of the first half of the year in a bullet journal system, not exactly bullet journal, not the Canon one, but very similar, very recognizable. You'd look at it and say, oh, that's bullet journal. Um, then I spent kind of the last half of the year looking a lot stronger at stuff like Tick Tick for a while, uh, and then Things 3 for the majority, probably from August, August on uh, into today. Because there's things that each one does really well. Um, digital task managers do a good job of letting you know when things are coming up, giving you date-based reminders in a way that analog task management systems like Bullet Journal are just not great. It's not always in your face, right? On the 25th of something, if you didn't check page 37 to see that it actually came up, then it just won't happen or you won't notice it. Whereas the digital task manager like things or like anything, OmniFocus, Tick Tick, Todoist, any of them can actually give you a date-based reminder to say that it's time to do this task, to follow up with this person, to do something. So that's why I have them split. And I'm going to walk you again a little bit through how I do it. Uh, I've done some of this before, um, so uh, yeah, I'll reference a few other videos as we go through. So to start here, we're actually going to look at just one or two projects real quick. Um, the skin we're in is a video I'm going to record just after this one. It's a book. Uh, I need to, I don't need to edit it, but I do need to, and I've left this for now, to tag it as this week. I need to record it, and then I need to, I can actually go multi-select, and I can tag now, right? Oh, today, shift command T, tag this week. So these are now tagged. I don't really want them as today. That's what I did when I hit command T by accident. Clear. And I do not want today. So that's how I start every Friday. I go through all of my task things and I make sure that I have marked them as this week so that I know that they are something that I need to do. And I'll just do it again for this video I'm recording right now. Right, once I have this week all set up, I have a lot of them already, then I would actually go into my tag this week. I would start going through and seeing what I need to do. So I can already know that the custom sales page is done. I know that today, just finished that. Uh, the paywall and the grabber field is done. The Cal OSHA is done. Uh, the SEO stuff, I'm gonna move that because I know that's actually next Tuesday. I actually did this today. I'm gonna leave it tagged as this week because it's still next week will be a this week task. Um, I don't need the Airsiders project. I don't wanna do this, that. I will take a course. I did hear about the timeline delivery format. I did hear about the Zoom stuff. So now that I've seen this, um, I actually have an idea of what's coming up and I might even need to do this sometimes as well. I'll split it up and I'll actually go to the today or the upcoming view. I can see that I need to follow up with some people with Kirk, Josh, Kate, Matt, and Amy. I need to invoice clients and I'll do that. Uh, that's actually technically I set that up for the 25th, although I don't always do it on the 25th. I take out Garbase, garbage, tonight, and I want to find Ride the Divide movie because I have the video file somewhere. So once I have all of this view set up in front of me, I actually move over to my bullet journal system. And I'll do that uh, in conjunction at the, same, at the same time, really. I'll be looking at, and I'll show you this. I'm going to link, if you look up above, I actually walk through uh, analog time blocking. I did a whole, out of my time blocking course, and I actually walked through this exact setup that I do here. So if you look at this, you can see that I've already done on here uh, like a time blocked out, let's just say, uh, right. And I'm going to write the, uh, the 2020 prod, right? Productivity and the skin we're in. And I'm going to do uh, Coco and Prob Pubs. Those are two client names, just so I know, but I need to check up on those, right? And I put in my treadmill times. I put in my hills. Um, and these didn't actually happen because I had to stay home uh, with a kid this day. 
didn't get to go out, and then I did my treadmill instead. I didn't actually just have time this morning. Um, I know that skating, right? My wife is away at skating right now. And I just know all of these things. So this is how I start. I go through and I actually time block out my entire week, and I can see on uh, read and then Zettelcasting course and script, and actually just talk to my daughter. So I'll have this live. And I'm gonna pick my daughter up at like 12.30, because it's her birthday. 12.30. Lorelai. I'm going to take her out, and the rest of my day is dedicated to Lorelai. We're going to watch a movie, The War with Grandpa, and we're going to pick up cupcakes and McDonald's, because that's what she wants to do. And so from there, from this view right here, I actually take it, and I go to my daily view. And you can see, right, that's a different day. Um, and I just really copy out the time blocking, so you can see today I put it in, I read, because my wife runs in the morning, and I do get kids to school. Right, and then I worked on Ronald, which is a client this morning. Then I worked on Coco and Prague pubs for the kind of the rest of the day. Then I went for my ride, and what I have here, then I have skate because my wife's off skating with my youngest daughter right now, and I broke a tooth today, so I realized I had to record tonight. So that's why that's not on here, and I should actually edit that. And uh, instead of skating, I would just put record uh, at five o'clock. So at seventeen thirty, I'd just put record because I can't do it in the morning because we're going to be doing um, breakfast for my daughter for her birthday, because it's actually tomorrow. And I don't know if I'll be able to talk at, after, because at 8 o'clock I've got to get a tooth looked at. And so that's now I know that, because I kept this up, I can know that I recorded here instead of actually doing skating. So when I look back later, I can say, oh, what did I do? What was my plan, and how did my plan map into the real day? And then you can see on this side, I actually just went through and um, took notes on the day, right? I get, 8.54 I have a note, at 10.18, at 10.38, 12.44, and 13.12 I have a note. Just so that I know what I did during the day. And that's really the basics of my setup. I've been using this tame time blocking um, week view for years now. I have a whole bunch of journals uh, kind of on a shelf. Not, not the one you see here, I'm pointing actually at a different part, part of my room that you can't see. But I have a whole bunch of journals that basically go through that same week view. What I've really added, um, this year has been this this two page spread where I time block on one side and then I do a notes on the other. I used to just do notes, um, and some of them will actually even get. Let me see if I can find one here. Some of them will even get like a task list in the middle of it, right? So we can see on this one up at the top here. I had to get a package and get business mail. So some of them will get that. Uh, right, this one I had to set up an iPod. I had to set up Pack Zoom. I had to do some stuff for Ronald. And I had to, I still haven't done the markers yet. <laughs> I just got to drop them off at the recycling uh, depot. So I'll add those at the top and then I'll just can keep notes throughout the day. And that lets me leverage the good things about analog. So this analog book, once I get my day time blocked out, sits literally right beside me on my desk. So that I can see exactly what I need to do, that it's right beside me, it's open. That's actually one of the problems I had with Cal Newport's time blocking book is it just wouldn't stay open. I'll link to that up above. I just reviewed that. It actually came out yesterday. So. 25th of January. Uh, today's the 26th. Um, that was one of the problems. It just would not stay open. So you always had to like flip it back open and say like, what's up? What's happening? And it, it, it it's an interesting concept. I like time blocking. I think the execution of that notebook is bad. Uh, it's just not a nice notebook to use. That's it. That's my hybrid system between things three and uh, a bullet journal, really, or a notebook. Trying to leverage the advantages of both getting the date-based reminders that really come up and get in your face, and then getting the um, the, tact the tactility, um, the tactile feel of analog notebooks so that I can really dig into them and, and use what they do well, right? Taking notes throughout the day, having a good time blocking system without having, and having it right in front of me because it's in the notebook beside me. That's it. If you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash curtismichael, become a patron, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, where you can take one of my Skillshare courses. Other things you can do is thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, because maybe YouTube will let you know what's happening. Maybe it won't. That's it. Have a good day. Wish me luck on my tooth tomorrow, although you'll see this weeks from now.